And Elvis is the family business for an Astoria father and son who work full time as tribute artists. As CBS 2's Elle McLogan found out, their career path demands a special mix of talent, hard work, and channeling the king. With a little more base, just we perform together and separately. Sure. How do those experiences compare? When we're together, it's like catching lightning twice. They are the still eyes burning brighter somewhere. Country birds flying higher in the sky. Greg and Lamar Peters aren't impersonators. They're tribute artists. We include a lot of our own heart, our own soul, our own thoughts. I think we look more like each other than Elvis, but that's another story. <laughs> Astoria, born and raised, Greg began performing as Elvis in 1977, earning the nickname the King of Queens. This is my 46th professional year tributizing Elvis. And like I always say to my friends in the audience, I've been Elvis twice as long as Elvis. As a kid, Lamar watched his dad on stage in awe. As he grew up, he would go in my suitcases and look at all my pieces of whatever and get inspired to do what he does. But I had no idea he'd be this good and take all my jobs away. <laughs> so let's give him a big round of applause for that. <laughs> It was a little tough at first because I had not only the shadow of Elvis, but my father who made it as a huge name in this industry. There's nobody in our line of work who doesn't know who he is. And if they say they don't, they're lying. I have about five more, but none of them were perfect for the comeback. This is perfect for the 68 comeback with the king. This is called the burning love suit. And it's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> the duo performs from Queens to Las Vegas and across the globe. So my Before a show, it can take three hours to put on makeup and get ready. Is there any misconception that people might have about performing as Elvis? I mean, if we weren't singers or dancers, we shouldn't be doing this. You, you know, um, just because you're buying a $3,000 outfit doesn't give you talent. <laughs> For Greg and Lamar, embodying Elvis is about honoring the man, not the myth. Elvis was so much more than a suit. Elvis was more than an all shook up or a uh -huh or whatever you want to say. He was just an amazing, humble, anointed human being. Above all, they say taking the stage together is about being in tune with each other. It is the greatest feeling in the world. Oh my gosh, Elle okay, joins incredible. us now. That is so funny. <laughs> All right, tell us how Greg first became Elvis. Yeah, Greg, so Greg is the dad, mm -hmm. and in high school he loved to sing and perform and also loved Elvis, naturally. He started to perform, perform as Elvis and got written up in his school paper, and the rest was history. And then, of course, Lamar also followed in his dad's footsteps, and I'm so glad I got to meet them both. Oh my goodness, so they said it takes three hours to, you know, makeup and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. How how do they get in character for a show? It's, it's the makeup. Up, it's the it's the costumes. I got to go through all of Lamar's costumes mm -hmm. at his house and pick them up. And these things are heavy. He says that they can weigh anything from 40 to 50 pounds wow. for a single jumpsuit. Um, and they they put them on. And, and I talked to them about how do you really you know embody Elvis? And they said putting on the glasses and the costumes, it just sort of comes over you, like, automatically. It, it, it's like becoming Superman, they said. <laughs> How in the world did you find this story? <laughs> I found this at because I was at a friend's birthday party where Lamar was performing, and everyone was blown away by this show. Come to find out his dad is also Elvis, and I thought, I, I must meet them both. <laughs> and sometimes they, they perform separately and sometimes together. They do both, yep, and they perform every single month. You can follow them and find them, and they're doing world, world, world tours all the time and they're they're just great that was so fun i love that story <laughs> Elle, thank you so much thank you so much appreciate Cindy. it